Hey everyone, I'm Noah from the Super Gamer Bros, and welcome back to another episode of Greedfall. At the end of the last episode, a lot of stuff went down. We found out that Constantin was actually captured by the High King Vinbar of the natives, and we were looking for him already, and we found out he was evil, so I don't know what's going to happen now. Oh, he's becoming one with nature. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no. I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you, fair cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever, and your complexion. <sighs> I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? I would not go that far. How is it that... what happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you, but Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it, and in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site, a place full of magic. I followed his instructions, and all of a sudden, what an incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas. We had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. It seems that Vimbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you? Like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly. Of course. I just want to understand. Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Doné Garda practice to bind themselves to the island. Doné Garda? Katasak taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So we visited this infamous site where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony? I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone, and there, a gigantic beast came and started circling around me. It was incredible. I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am on all Manawi, like you. Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks, but you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enon Mil Frichtemann? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary, according to Glendam. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor. Oh. 
I didn't even consider that, that somebody else would just be named High King. I didn't think it was a nominated position. Good day, Glendon. Beort Tirtomat, Karans of Katasach. We learned of his death. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your High King Vinbar is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into the mountains after killing Katasach and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who did Yeah, I did it. Kertonsidar. What happened? How could a friend of Katasach do such a horrible thing? I am sorry, but your High King did not leave me the choice. He was about to kill my cousin, and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nadaik. Perhaps it was for that reason he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His I don't understand why he did it either. Probably because the god told him to, right? You know that I wished to see Enon Reputation Mirbert minus three. And he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I am just as sorry as you. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Bladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey-dripping words. Deirdre, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the... I'll start with Dunkus because he's my favorite, and then Deirdre. I should bring Siora for that one.
What brings you here on Omanawi? I am the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king. And a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time. But his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power. But Tiafradi needs peace and balance. And I fear the other kings may want war. Or be motivated by ambition. The Renaise brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past, and chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed, and my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the earth. I would like to meet Enon Mil Fruchtemen in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan, and I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Anon Mil Frichtemann. And I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, the High Kings of old wore a legendary crown said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the Hoi Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nardaig Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and a guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect. For those who rest there were great men. Now we've earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crap. Are you certain you are willing to influence the fate of all my people to meet an on me? I understand that you might find this idea unpleasant. But the survival of the whole continent relies on this encounter, Siora. It is my feeling that you do not understand the consequences of such a decision. Everyone on the island will listen to the words of a high king. It may be wise to make sure your pretender's intentions are compatible with your, and if it's not the case, to find another. We wouldn't want to be the architects of a future we don't like, would we? You're right. It's a decision that is more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it. No, Dunkus is the obvious choice because Karans, he's the nice one, do you need something? and he knows that the only answer how did is you know to, that was me? after all, given the situation, you know, make peace? I knew my mother well. We were close. She would never have renounced her beliefs to forge it. I think I understand. Your island, your culture, and your faith. Exactly. Without these, I am happy. Anything else? Uh, you can romance her. Wow. I must leave you. I didn't even think about uh, romancing companions in this game being possible I mean I never do it in any game it's such a waste of time <laughs> I know that um, other people like to do it you know they like the romance storylines some like being able to romance anybody in the game I just never saw the point so, gosh I don't know if I should let the people decide or if 
because if I, that's the other thing. If I let the natives decide, then it's their choice, and it's the person who they wanted elected. But if they, if they want to go down a violent path, you know, that's up to them. Who am I to affect this whole civilization? What do you seek? I am the bearer of bad news. Dead. And forced. But he was plunged into doubt by your arrival. He was no longer at his people's side. Glendan told me that you would be one of those keen to replace him. That's true. If Bladnid was still here, I would have given her my votes and followed her into battle. But since she's no longer with us, I must obtain the title and do what should have been done a long time ago. Drive away the Renaixi and take back our island. They want to enslave... Will you drive us away? We will drive away the Renaixi. You are on all Minawi. You will have to pick a side. I see. If you were to be elected, to allow me to meet Enon Mil Frigdem, only he can help us cure them. Why should you be preoccupied with a disease striking those we want to drop? I have my own reason. But you should know this is the best way for the Renaixe to leave the island of their own accord. You have helped my people. You are our Karants as well. Once I am the High Queen, I will lead you. You seem certain you will obtain it. Those who covet victory must do everything they can to obtain it. The old kings wore a legendary crown, which was whoever were to retreat. And you know where? I believe it is located in the tomb of the king. I do not know exactly. And that the end. Do not worry. If I want to be certain of the outcome of this vote, I'd better go and. Anything more? I need. Well. So it sounds like they're going to push me to go get the crown no matter what. So I will do that after talking to Ulan and give it to Dunkus, of course. What do I owe the pleasure? I regret to inform But why have you come to notify me? I've Glendan has informed me that you are most likely among those who will want to take his place. It is true. And I will perhaps be able to obtain it. I understand that you may be worried about my intentions. I seek only to bring peace to our lands by creating an alliance with the people of the continent. The lives of our people will be improved and happier. There is something I would like to ask of you. If you were to be named High King, I would be thankful if you could allow me to meet Enon Mil Frigdemen. Of course. If I become High King, I would be glad if you really want to make sure that I win. What is that? It may only be a legend. The first guy. And where is the first guy? Somewhere not far. The entrance to his burial mound. The path that leads. But beware. Anything else? Nothing. I'm a... So we're definitely going to have to fight a Nodag to get in. 
but I did buy a lot of magic and health potions after the last episode. Sure, we're getting to the end, but might as well start preparing now. Better late than never. And hopefully this Nodig is one of the types of enemies I've faced before, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potion.
What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders. And you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaigse. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Dertere is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And with the blessing of Enon Mirfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Think long on this. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. I'm going to keep the crown because I want to give it to Dunkus. I don't want her to drive the people away. I think they can live harmoniously on the island together. I'm just afraid that this is going to have to be a fight and I might have to kill her. Sorry, Deirdre. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated. Who will obey the orders of the Renaixi, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. I have come to take that crown, and I won't leave without it. May the enlightened protect me in this battle! I accept my defeat. Take this crown. Oh, that's good. I am not least. worthy to wear it, so it seems. <laughs> Indeed, so it seems. We will meet again at Dorhad Genador. Until then, Deirdre. Oh yeah, okay, there's a way out back here. It's like they could have at least teleported us out of here or something like that.
I went into the tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil. Oh, I have pledged my honor to help you, and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits, the healing of wounds of Tifredi, and those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. To the daughter that was lost and refound on our island. Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. And Dunkus is going to be the promise. best High King they ever had. I would have picked Karasak if he didn't die. Congratulations, Dunkus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise He looks so Viking. different. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Mil? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Thank Dunkus. you, Dunkus. I'll be there. Every one of us will be praying during these two days for Enon Mil Frichtelman to bless our chosen one. But we don't have to stay here and do nothing. We can go somewhere else if you want. There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path and keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back Risk awakening the guardians of this place. What Aulam said. All right, so just like that, uh, we're on our way to meet the thousand face god or mini face god. I can't remember which one it was. In on meal frictumen. There's a door so far away.
return the flesh of my earth. You are simply coming into being, have tangled the strings of destiny of all the other children. I am he, the corn, and on me three in end. I have followed each of your steps since your arrival. I hail you, Enon Milfrichtemen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be taught by my children, learn to give back in return, learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there what will is be he no doing wrong? Anymore for anything or anyone. That's... That's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all from us. Flee, or you will be dead. Well, that was supremely unhelpful. Well, I mean, it did prove the fact that there was a voice. It claimed to be the god, so maybe there, you know, that all that is there. And we knew it was because there's been evidence of the magical shenanigans and whatnot. But that god was saying that I the people of Tier for D killed their god the by destroying inside. the lands and not taking is care of them. All right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It is actually some kind of poisoning, and it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the Oiland carry with them a wisdom, which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. My clan knows how to heal the earth. Thank you, Dunkers. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? There appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. 
but it is something I must verify by myself. Oh, I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Goodbye. Maybe Constantin is doing evil things behind our back and we just never knew. My fair cousin, I am so glad to see you. You are right on time. We have visitors, and your advice would be most welcome. Let me introduce you to the emissaries of the Bridge Alliance and Teleme. Seeing them both in the same room is rather surprising, isn't it? But please, your excellencies, explain to us what brought you here. Sire, I have come to humbly request your help. We have been sustaining terrible attacks. Really? Are the natives behind this again? Unless it is those traitors of the guard. We aren't sure, but it is almost certain that the natives are involved. Governor Byrne is hoping that you could send him your cousin, as well as some troops. It would seem that we are in a similar situation, sire. Our city has been sustaining terribly violent assaults, and our losses are great. Our mother cardinal is begging you to send her some help as soon as possible. Oh, dear allies. Knowing that you are in such a delicate situation fills me with sorrow. However, the size of our troops has greatly reduced after the horrific attempt to at coup. And regarding sending my cousin, she's already very busy undertaking a mission of the utmost importance, without even mentioning the fact that what you describe fills me with fear for her life, which is most precious to me. <sighs> no, I really don't see how I could be of assistance to you. Constantine, we cannot remain deaf to the call of our allies. I'm sure I can find the time to go and evaluate the situation. I would love to accompany you, but my people are being wrongfully accused. I am certain of it, and I want to prove it. Very well, my dear. You know I cannot refuse you any- But remember how urgent it is for this antidote to be found. We are so close to it now. Don't worry about it. You know how important this mission is to me. Well. This audience is coming to an end. Your Excellencies, inform your governors of my cousin's arrival. I hope that you realize how grateful you should be to her. Absolutely, sire. And we thank you both for receiving us. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Constantine. My adorable cousin, I am always happy to see you. What news do you bring? I finally managed to enter the sanctuary at the heart of the island, and I was able to talk with Enon Mel Frichtemann. How marvelous! Tell me about it. The sanctuary is heavily protected. Only a high king can open it. <sighs> I remember you saying that Vimbar's dead. How did you fix this problem? I had to interfere in the natives' elections and earn the trust of the pretender who seemed to be the best choice. You really are an outstanding diplomat. My father is an old, bitter man, but he was right about you. Tell me, who did you choose? Dunkus. He's the king of the village of Vig Yigadol, and a Donegad full of wisdom. I'm certain that you have made the right choice. And then what did you do? I was able to enter the sanctuary. It was an incredible experience. It had to be. Oh, how I envy you. Entering the most secret places on this island, talking to a god. What does he look like? Is he some kind of very old and very powerful Donegad? No. In fact, I spoke to an extremely large tree. 
as strange as it may sound. Fascinating. And I thought the gods were always old bearded men. Did he tell you where the Malachor was coming from? Is it a curse that he cast upon the first settlers? No. According to him, we are responsible for the emergence of the Malachor. By exploiting the Earth so much, we have poisoned it. And the disease has contaminated us through the water we drink and the plants that we eat. Strange, and yet it seems plausible. So, there wouldn't be an antidote. He says that the Earth can be healed. That his children know how to do it. I suppose he was talking about the Donegada. He also said that by healing the Earth, we would heal those who live on it. This is a fascinating revelation. It won't be easy for our neighbors to accept it, however. I'm afraid that even my father might receive it with skepticism. Did he tell you anything else? No, but it's true that the conversation ended abruptly. An intruder had managed to sneak into the sanctuary, and we had to flee to evade the wrath of its guardian. An intruder, you say? Then I guess this sanctuary isn't that heavily protected. Your work really is exemplary. The entire continent should be thanking you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? You told me that during the ritual with... It's true. And it was an incredible feeling. I could see everything, feel everything, and I knew that I could bend the trees to my will. Do you still feel that? Yes, but in a more dull, muffled way. The first time, it was surreal and perfect. The first time? The first time it happened. Now it's as if I've become used to feeling... I must take my leave. Take care. Alright, so we'll help the Bridge Alliance first, um, and a fast travel to the Desarde residence, and that's where we'll end the episode. I decided not to tell Constantine what the god said, but, you know, the god told us he's going to be a problem, so, and there was an intruder right after that, and Constantine feels better. So, maybe he is doing evil things behind our back, and he was the intruder there sneaking in to hear what the god said, so right there he's gonna know in the future that we didn't tell him that anyway we'll see where that goes then they gave us this there's like the other two cities are being attacked i don't even know that was just kind of random and out of nowhere are they being attacked by beasts or people it was very unclear anyway we'll figure all that out in the next episode if you enjoyed this episode go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later Bye.